Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, EcoPulse concludes flight test program. Man charged for flying drone over U.S. rocket launch base. And Sikorsky to demo Matrix flight autonomy system. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. EcoPulse concludes flight test program. EcoPulse, a distributed hybrid electric propulsion demo aircraft developed in a collaboration among Dyer, Safran, and Airbus, has concluded its flight test campaign, yielding important insights to meet the goal of decarbonizing air transport by 2050. The joint project has also provided invaluable experience in the design, certification, production, and operation of hybrid electric aircraft. The flight test campaign began in November 2023 and since then has performed 50 flights accumulating 100 flight hours. Significant findings of the campaign include an objective evaluation of the maturity of hybridization technologies, performance assessment when integrated into the airframe, and identification of operational limitations. EcoPulse was revealed at the 2019 Paris Air Show. It's based on the Dyer TBM airframe and equipped with six e-propellers by Safran distributed along its wings. The propulsion system integrates a turbo generator or electric generator driven by a gas turbine by Safran and a high voltage battery pack provided by Airbus. At the heart of the propulsion system is a power distribution and rectification unit to distribute the electrical power and protects the high voltage network. Pascal Laguerre, CTO of Dyer, said, quote, EcoPulse has enabled Dyer to take a crucial step forward in developing a low-carbon aircraft. This project not only helped us design an operational system for a demo prototype, but also tackle critical technological hurdles, end quote. After the break, Counter Drone Tech monitors El Paso Airshow airspace. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Counter drone tech monitors El Paso Airshow airspace. Defense Solutions partnered with El Paso International Airport to successfully implement a pilot project to monitor the airspace during the recent Amigo Airshow. Using advanced counter drone technology to protect the restricted airspace and attendees from intrusion by unauthorized drones, the Amigo Airshow's two day show drew 60,000 guests. The show provided acrobatic aerial performances and a wide variety of static aircraft displays. To protect air show performers and enthusiasts enjoying the displays, Defense Counter Drone Solution and Force Air was used to monitor the grounds and surrounding aerospace. Shebel Camcopter S100 successfully demos radar. The Schiebel Group, based in Vienna, Austria, announced the successful demonstration of its Camcopter S100 uncrewed aerial system integrated with the IMSAR NSP Synthetic Aperture Radar. The demo displayed the system's ground and maritime moving target indications capabilities during an intensive week-long trial at the foremost UAS test range in Western Canada. Schiebel said the integration of the radar system was completed ahead of schedule and that all electronic components were housed within the vehicle's antenna pod. Joby completes flight tests in Korean contest. Joby announced it successfully completed the flight test as part of the Korean KUAM Grand Challenge to support the development of air taxi service in the Korean market. 
The challenge was launched in 2023 by the South Korean Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport to encourage the commercialization of air taxis in the country. During the week-long contest, Joby successfully completed a range of missions to demonstrate various flight profiles and conditions, including fully wing-borne flight. NASA provides updates to Moon to Mars plans. As NASA begins to work its way through the Artemis lunar exploration campaign, it has released new information on how it's preparing for crewed missions to Mars. This includes technical approaches and steps for the agency's space exploration plan, a revised executive overview, and 12 new white papers detailing results from the review. One especially significant white paper reveals NASA's decision to utilize fission power as a primary source of crew sustaining power once on the Martian surface. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Man charged for flying drone over U.S. rocket launch base. A Chinese citizen, 39-year-old Yin Piao Zhou, was arrested and charged after flying a drone over Vandenberg Space Force Base and using it to take aerial photos. A month prior, he allegedly made a Google search for Vandenberg Space Force Base drone rules. On December 9th, officers arrested Zhou while he was attempting to board a flight to China out of San Francisco International Airport. He made his first court appearance a day later and was charged with the failure to register an aircraft not providing transportation and the violation of national defense airspace. Joe is now being held in federal custody. He did not enter a plea and his arraignment is slated to occur in the next few weeks. If convicted, Joe could receive up to four years in federal prison. An affidavit from the case shows that drone detection systems at Vandenberg Space Force Base picked up a signal on November 30th. The systems followed the drone around the grounds for almost an hour, tracking it to an altitude of nearly one mile above sea level and back to landing in Ocean Park. Security personnel then went to the park, located Joe and a man he was with, and found that the drone in question was hidden in Joe's jacket. After these messages, Sikorsky to demo Matrix Flight Autonomy System. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Sikorsky to demo Matrix Flight Autonomy System. Sikorsky announced it has been selected by the U.S. Marine Corps to demonstrate the maturity and capability of the Matrix Flight Autonomy System in operationally relevant flights during 2025 using the company's optionally piloted UH-60 Blackhawk helicopter. The flights will inform the Corps' Aerial Logistics Connector program how autonomous aircraft can resupply and sustain Marines in a contested battle space. The demonstrations will show how autonomous aircraft can keep future marine forces supplied from ships or bases on shore. Marine operators will use a tablet to interface with the aircraft to make changes in the mission before and after takeoff to evaluate its software, usability, and capabilities. Matrix was initially intended to improve safety of flight for crewed helicopters and then was matured with DARPA funding through its ALEA program. The advanced features added include assisted flight handling for two pilot operations, virtual co-pilot for a single pilot, or fully autonomous flight with no pilots. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.